too. Hi everybody, I'm Melissa Bender and I am super excited to work out with you today. We have a quick workout, so you have options for this one. You could do it once and be done after 11 minutes. You can repeat it up to three times to make it into a longer 33 minute workout routine, or you can mix and match it, stack it with one of my other workouts and still get in fantastic workout. For today's workout, I'm going to use dumbbells for the first six exercises. Um, when we move to core, we won't be using any equipment. If you don't have dumbbells or you just don't want to use them today, that's fine. All of the exercises can also be done with body weight. As always, full breakdown will be up on my website, benderfitness.com. So if you want to see the photo tutorial, if you want to see the workout breakdown and my blog post for the day that will maybe inspire you or help you through something rough, who knows, depends on what I wrote that day, um, but check it all out there. Okay guys, I hope that you are ready. I'm going to start my interval timer. We have 10 seconds of rest. Let's make this a little louder. And then we are going straight into our knee to knee kickback. I'm gonna use dumbbells for this one. So we're gonna start with a warrior and then we're gonna come up, knee comes down and crosses behind, kind of like a curtsy and then presses back up, flat back. So if the balance is really challenging for you, what you can do is get rid of the dumbbells and you can hold on to something like a chair or a wall and just do this crossing portion. Do whichever is going to be challenging for you. Losing my balance, there we go. Keep going. Hopefully you are feeling that burn as we start off strong. Okay, same exact exercise, other leg is next. So again, you can use dumbbells, body weight, use something for balance, whatever works for you. As long as it is challenging, it is working. Keep going. You've got this. Excellent. You can do this, keep moving. Excellent. Next, we're gonna have a plie hop. So again, dumbbell is optional. I'm gonna hold it at my shoulders. Feet are wide, toes turn out at an angle. We're gonna come low, tucking the tailbone, bring it up, hop. When you land, you're gonna land toe to heel with a little bend in the knees and then slide right back down into it. If that impact is too much, come up onto the toes. Low, onto the toes. Choose what's right for you. Excellent job, keep going. You can do this. Breathe through it. Last few seconds, almost there. Good job. Next, we're gonna have a frogger reach. So I'll show you guys the hop and then I'll show you low impact. Starting in a plank, we're gonna hop it forward, grab the dumbbell, stretch it up, bring it down. Okay, low impact, step, step, bring it up, stretch it up, bring it down. Okay, so you can do, if you want a little more through the biceps, bend and then lift. If you want to feel it more through the shoulders, then go straight out and up. <laughs> Breathe. 
or you could do like I am and alternate with both. Last few seconds. Excellent job. Next we have knee drive lunge. Anyone else this legs tiger? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Maybe I'm the only one. All one side. We're going to lunge. Drive up. You can hop or you can lunge. Come up onto the toe. Breathe. My thighs are trying to quit on me right now. <laughs> but they have more in them, so I'm going to keep going. Breathe. Excellent work, guys. Good job. We're going to do other side. I'm going to shake out these thighs. <laughs> Literally shake them out. Just make sure all that blood flow gets back into them. Here we go. Other side. Lunge. And again, you can hop or come up onto the toes. They are both effective. And you can even mix and match a little of both like I am. Almost there, guys. Last few seconds. Woohoo, we're moving into core. My thighs are happy about it. Okay, we've got a plank jack next. If your wrists are sore, do it from your forearms. Otherwise, you can have extended arms. Jump it out and in like a jumping jack. Breathe through it. If you stop, you should still be in plank position. So not up here. If you are, drop it down. Doing good. Keep moving. Less than 10 seconds. Saved by the bell. Take it out <laughs> and side V up. So we're going to lay on our side on the shoulder, arm extended. One arm reaches, I'm going to reach it toward our feet. If that straight leg is too much, bend the knees into the chest, tap the heel. They're both effective. So again, just pick the variation that's right for you. If it is challenging you, it's working. Doing great, guys. Try not to roll too much onto the back. Trying to use these side abdominal muscles. Almost there. Last few seconds. Same thing, other side. So you can roll over or you can switch sides. Breathe through it. Good job, guys. Keep the belly pulling in and working. Excellent. And again, remember, if you need to pull the knees in, tap the outside of the heels. Still getting a great workout. Breathe. We're getting there. Ooh. 
Last five seconds. You can do it. Okay, next we are going to have an invisible ladder. So we're gonna lay on our back. Feet are gonna go straight up in the air and we're gonna reach. One hand reaches for that ladder, the other hand reaches, comes back down. So reaching to the outside of your legs, belly pulling in, ribs are really moving very, uh, like a micro movement toward the hip bones. Breathe. So sometimes the exercises that look the easiest, like I feel like this one doesn't look too hard, but your abs are working the entire time. So it's actually quite challenging. Let me know if you guys like this move and want to see it come back in a future workout. Last few seconds. Good job. And finally, prone heel reach. We're gonna lay on our bellies. We're gonna bend our knees so our feet are toward the ceiling. And then we are going to reach one hand at a time. So we're gonna lift, find that heel, or as close to it as you can. So it's kind of like a reverse twisting sit up. We're activating the muscles of the back of the core and the upper glutes during this one. Reach, breathe through it. Good job. Getting there, guys. Keep going. This is the last exercise. You can do this, and we're gonna get some water. Last few seconds. Activity completed. And woohoo! <laughs> we did our workout together today. Thank you guys for joining me. I really enjoyed working out with you. Let me know if you had a favorite move, what you thought of this workout. As always, click like if you like the workout. Click subscribe if you want to keep getting new workouts. And check out our website, benderfitness.com. We will see you guys there. Bye.